Well, I think that's very much a matter for the Scottish National Party and and for uh, for Nicola Sturgeon and for she broke uh, your uh, rules. And, and, and what I would say about the rules is certainly that everybody should uh, should obey them. And the the point of, of them is is and I know that they're bossy and intrusive and they and they uh, and people don't like them, but believe me, uh, they do save lives. Is what she's done dangerous? I, I, you know, I, I don't. Indefensible. Want to call, I, I don't. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with the details of the of the case. But what I can definitely say is that people, you know, where where and there okay, are, there, this has been there in the news for 24 hours. Why can't you just say she must resign? Because uh, that's a matter for her, and, and with great respect. Is it although, because? Although, although, is although, it because you although, are now in although, trouble although, here because you defended Dominic Cummings, your advisor in the oh, summer, I see. who broke oh, the rules? Right. I, I, is that why you can't say that someone who has blatantly broken rules should resign as an MP, even when that person is from the, another party? As I recall, in that particular case, the Durham Constabulary were very firm that there was uh, nothing uh, that they wanted to do and no case to answer as far as they could see. But uh, the general principle is is a good one, which is that everybody should obey the rules. And I think people, people are sort of... A, a lot of people will think what this shows is that it's all too complex and people have got tired of doing it and they're fed up and people might also think it's work. one rule for the political classes and one rule for they them they might well think that too have you contributed and, to that and, impression uh, no okay let me read yeah, you the uh, scottish social yeah, attitude survey 61 percent said they trust the scottish government 15 percent trust the uk government well, why is that i i think that in truth i think that the this has been a long and difficult uh campaign against a, a virus and if you look at the uh, the work of uh, uh, the Treasury in supporting the furlough scheme, uh, the uh, the work of uh, the armed services in bringing testing uh, to the most remote parts of, of Scotland, uh, I think you've seen the strength of the union. I think people uh, don't underestimate that. And yes, you know, uh, of course, people uh, people are understandably very frustrated about the situation. You know, you you ask about um, public attitudes at the, mo- at the moment towards, uh, towards the, the government. I totally understand why people are, are frustrated, uh, but we're trying to strike a very, very difficult balance. You've not been well yourself. Have you ever thought personally about throwing I in the sponge? Am, uh, that, is, uh, that is sinister. That is, that is <laughs> disinformation that has been peddled by, uh, peddled by you know, those who would... Uh, You're fighting fit. I'm, I'm, I'm fitter than I was. And you can I'm guarantee you'll serve. I'm fitter than I was. I'm fitter than I was. You'll serve a full term as prime minister. I, I, You're not going to be chucking early. What I've said is, I've, I, 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 in the mid 2030s, I've excluded okay. any further. Uh, but look, I, well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you. I think the, uh, and it is an important point. Um, I think, uh, uh, I, when I went into ICU, I was frankly, I was 17 stone six, right, and that was too much uh, for someone of my height. And losing a bit of weight makes you feel much better. I'll just put it that way. Prime Minister, thank you very much indeed.